Here is an example of what your notes should look like for this section. We're still in 1-1 one -one or 1.1 checkerboard borders. And the two videos before this video was why do we solve the same things to both sides and how do you solve an equation with variables on both sides. So that could be on the other side or the front side of the notes. On the back side, you're going to focus on slope. And I um, encourage you to create another statement or question on your own that directly relates to the notes that you're going to take from the videos. In this video, we are going to answer the question, what are the ways to remember slope? I'm going to show you a few strategies to use to remember different types of slope. When they're positive, when they're negative, when they're undefined, and when the slope is equal to zero. To determine if slope is positive or negative, you look at the line from left to right, just like you read. So we read on the left, and if we were to read this first this first line, we'd read from here and go all the way down, therefore our slope is going to be negative. And if we were to read from left to right for this line and go all the way up, our slope would be positive. This is a great way to read slope so that when you have to find slope from a line using two points or a graph, you can determine if your answer should be positive or negative. It's a great way to double check to make sure. Okay, so what if your line was a horizontal line? What kind of slope would you have? Well, one question to think of is what does an upside down H look like? Well, I'm going to go ahead and draw an upside down H here. And an upside down H looks kind of like a Y without a longer tail. We could curl it. And there's a Y. If Y equals any number, any number, so it could be Y equals negative 5, it is always a horizontal, and there's that H, a horizontal line. And when you have a horizontal line, and there's one right down here pictured for you, when you have a horizontal line, your slope is going to equal zero. I'm going to ask you a question about this when you come to class, so be prepared. Okay, vertical lines. What does an upside down and right side up V look like? Well, if I have a up right side up V, and an upside down V, it looks like an X. And when X equals any number, so think of any number X could be, let's say that X is 2. If X equals 2, it is always a vertical, and there's the V, always a vertical line. And when you have a vertical line, here's one graphed on the side for us, whenever you have a vertical line graphed, your slope is always going to be undefined. If you forget some of these identifications of different slopes, positive, negative, um, undefined, or zero slope, make sure you guys take a look at my pictures for algebra aerobics. It will remind you of what type of slope for different types of lines. I hope that this works, and these are some strategies that might be helpful to you. When you come to class, we'll discuss um, some of the questions, some of the answers to these questions.